Radical. Just like my previous upload about Corey Feldman, I'm going to leave a link to this, which is from the YouTube channel The Jam in the Van, so you know exactly what I'm referring to and talking about. I'm going to make this quite short. I just have a couple things to say here. Uh, Polly Shore has a YouTube channel, and he has a side thing called Jam in the Van. Now, if you don't know who Polly Shore is, Polly Shore was in a lot of movies, specifically mostly in the 90s, Encino Man, Jury Duty. Uh, he was the Weasel. He, he was big. He was big at one point in time. Now, he's on YouTube. He's not looking that great. I would say probably needs to... I, I don't know. I mean, he just looks rough. Looks rough, man. Um, so maybe some skincare products. Maybe get healthy. I don't know. He's still Polly Shore, but it's just kind of jarring. I know, like, people age. You know, it's part of life, but... Man, he's just looking rough, man, rough. So he has a desk and he has a talk show and there's other different guests that are like his side co-host. Sometimes it's Bobby Lee, who he's friends with in real life, used to be on Mad TV, which was their version of SNL. I think funnier than SNL at the time it came on. And in this particular episode... He had a couple of people on there. One, actually, ironically, was Corey Feldman. That's what led me down the rabbit hole to talk about Corey Feldman. But he also had a trans woman on the show named Billy Lee. Now, Billy Lee is an individual that currently is on something called the Vampner Pump Rules, I believe. Kind of like a um, one of those, what she calls them. Not a scripted show, but unscripted or reality show, whatever the hell it is. I mean, I'm not going to watch it. Uh, what's interesting about Billy Lee is Billy Lee is a trans woman, meaning, uh, you know, basically a a man. Uh, that's, I mean, pretty much it's on the driver's license, still a man, but a trans woman. All right. I'm not going to argue about that, but basically, you know, still a man. You can do whatever you want to. You can try to hide it. You can try to even chop it off, which is what happened in this case. Chop it off, flip it around, put on some makeup, but you're never going to be a woman. You can't become a man. You can't become a woman fully. You can't. You can try, but, you know, science is science. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Science does. So what's interesting about this is... Number one, it's kind of funny just seeing Polly Shore as an interviewer and his reactions. It's just kind of funny. He, first off, he says how pretty the person is. But then he slips, has a Freudian slip, and then calls, calls the individual a man or something like that. Then has to correct himself. So that's kind of funny right there. He, there's another comedian. I think he's a comedian who is with them, I forget what the name was, and then the uh, comedian actually has all these weird kind of responses, weird kind of responses to this person, and you would think, you would think for a second that he just was not wanting to be there more than anything in the world, and he just wanted to leave. He just wanted to leave. He's fiddling around in his, he's got like a little school desk, he's fiddling around in a school desk, desk, and the minute the individual starts talking about the new plumbing that he got installed and how tight it is and all kind of stuff and how there's a there's a clitori there and the sensations or something. It's just funny to see this guy's responses to this other guy talking about his new clitori and all that kind of plumbing that was uh, put in man-made. That's what's funny. Polly Shore said, you know, there's man-made beaches, so you have a man-made one. Is that better than the original? <laughs> you know, so uh, you can create one. You can create different ones. Like you can go get an actual package done, right? What's scary is this person, the point of this upload, the thing I want to talk about is stealth mode. And stealth mode is truly horrifying, truly horrifying. Billy Lee talked about how there was a instance where she was dating lots of heterosexual men. That's all she dated, heterosexual men. But the funny thing is, if you're dating a trans woman, 
you're no longer a heterosexual. Uh, you're no longer a heterosexual uh, man. You are a, a gay man. That's what you are, because you're with a trans woman, and you're gay. That's just how it is. Unless they change a the definition, being gay means you are sleeping with someone that is the same. You know, right? Check your driver's licenses. One says male, the other says male. Hey, check the birth certificates. You're, you're technically gay. Now you're you're um, fooled into being gay and having gay moments, but you know she's basically turning these heterosexual males uh, gay. She talks about stealth mode, how she was in stealth mode, which is again horrifying. She said there was a guy going down on her for two months. And then she said, you know what? I should really kind of let him know because he's about to catch feelings. Oh, really? You think? Dude, you think? <laughs> Could you imagine being this guy? And the amount of therapy he's having to go through? I mean, some of you might not agree. <laughs> but I think it's truly horrifying. She also says that, like, for some reason, when she tells some guys, like comedians, for instance, they're cool with it. I think Pauly Shore, he might be cool with it, but he's just kind of like one of those, one of those dudes. In fact, during this, he's he makes passes at her, and he says, "So, like, you know, if I was in a coffee shop on Tuesday, and I said you wanted to be in a coffee shop on Tuesday at nine p.m., and then the co-host says, well, that's oddly specific." <laughs> So he's low key. I mean, who knows? Polly Shore probably got his number after. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, one last thing about modern modern surgery is kind of scary too because if this was like 20, 30 years ago, it would be very easy to spot a post op trans individual. It would be. But they have all these advances, all these advances to make it less noticeable. Like, in the thumbnail of this, I had a picture of Billy Lee. And if you're squinting, if it's a small phone screen you're looking at, you might even think for a second, for a moment, that that was actually a female. The thing about females in general is... Makeup can be very deceptive. You know how some females go, I'm going to go put on my face. And they look completely different without the makeup. At least guys are honest, you know. At least, you know, guys are honest. Like, the face you see is the face you see. Women are all about deception. And trans women, times ten, are all about deception. So what is the solution to this? I mean, it's probably not going to happen to you because... Trans women like this that are post-op are quite rare. Usually trans women do not uh, chop off their buddy. They don't remove and replace. They don't remove and replace. I would say probably don't do drunk hookups in a club because, you know, you're going to not be, um, you, you know, when you're drunk. You're not making the best decisions when you're drunk, you know, and you, I don't want you to wake up, you know, face first with a, with a slice of imitation pie. That's what I'm going to call it, imitation pie. I don't want this to happen to any of you, but I need you to know that there's people out there that are going in stealth mode. And since this person did it once and says, well, now they don't do it. I don't believe that. Because they also said that they regularly date heterosexual males. And then, oh, I left this out. Polly Shore actually said uh, he did a poll in his audience. Ask all the males in his audience if they had ever slept with or wanted to ever sleep with a trans woman. And they said no. And this dude seemed shocked when he said that. Excuse me. I mean, does that offend any of you trans people that I said this to? Okay. Uh, this born dude was shocked and said, really? Huh? And then said, well, they're probably just not admitting it. <laughs> I'm going I'm to say um, kudos to the doctor, but scary. But I mean, they did their job. They got their money. 
if you can actually, and there was facial surgery also to make sure this person had like a softer feminine type uh, face, I guess smoothed out to hard jaw edges, I suppose. I mean, this person really went into it, really went into trying to be a female. Uh, I mean, the doctor's doing their job, but I think there should be something even if it's like a little tattoo or a little mark, this is my suggestion. I might be off base, but this is what I think. Because there's such a, a possibility in the future, like I said, with technology making men look more and more like females, there should be a little tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny tattoo. Even if it's like a beauty mark or like a little dot, something that's put down there behind the underwear, something that's put down there. So if a guy is going down there, he sees the dot and you should be, it should mandatorily be enforced that you have that on there. And trans, I mean, trans, uh, trans people should not be opposed to this as a rule because I mean, hell you've chopped off your junk. You've done all this surgery you you topped off the junk thrown in, in a trash can, so don't tell me you're opposed to like a little little dot down there, just to let guys know, just let everybody know, because you're not, you don't have to. Oh yeah yeah. One thing is this comedian, this this motherfucker, this this piece of shit motherfucker, man. I don't know if he was just saying this because he was on the show and he, he felt it was the right thing to say. He said, you shouldn't have to disclose that. Imagine yourself in that situation. I mean, he didn't have to because I think he's a married guy. But imagine if you're a single guy on the prowl. And this happens to you. And it's disclosed to you two months after. And that's the kind of thing that could drive somebody to, you know, jump off a bridge or something like that. That's... That's messed up. But you know what? Billy Lee, people like that, they're messed up already. They have mental problems already because they're perfectly fine with mutilating themselves to fit a mold that they feel that they are. You know? Yeah. 